Hey, and welcome! Every web page you see is styled with some form of CSS. This course provides a gentle introduction to CSS. I'm Deborah Karata, and I'll be your style consultant as we style web pages. This gentle introduction to CSS for beginners is for anyone interested in web design or development. It's also useful for those that manage or interact with web developers to better understand what CSS is and how it's used. Here is a web page created with HTML. Recall that HTML is a markup language. We use HTML elements to mark up a document, telling the browser how we want our content to appear. We mark up a header with an H1 element, an image with an IMG or image element, a document section with the section element, paragraphs with the P element, and so on. Some of the elements have attributes, which provide identification and configuration information. For example, the image element has attributes to define the source of the image, the alternate text if the image isn't found, and the height and width. The markup describes the content and structure of the page, but not the style. The browser provides a basic default set of styles for displaying content. Functional, but not pretty. We use CSS to style and lay out our web pages to achieve something like this. That looks better. And I'm sure those of you with more design talent than I could make further improvements as you learn CSS. CSS is part of the web development trifecta. HTML defines the content and structure for a web page. We use it to mark up our documents so the browser understands how to display our content. CSS, or Cascading Style Sheets, is a styling language to set colors, fonts, and other visual properties. We use it to define the style and layout for our web pages. And JavaScript is a programming language. We use JavaScript to add logic and interactivity to our web pages. For a button on a web page to do something when a user clicks it, that something is defined using JavaScript. Or to say it another way, we define the basic structure of our web pages using HTML. We add style and glam with CSS. And we bring it all to life with JavaScript. We cover CSS in this course. We covered HTML in a prior course, and we'll cover JavaScript in a later course of this series. In this course, we first define what CSS is. Using a code-along approach, we consider where to define styles, explore CSS syntax, and discover the CSS box model. We then examine CSS layout features and walk through how styles cascade. As this is an introductory course, we won't cover everything about CSS, but we'll cover enough for you to build a firm foundation of CSS knowledge. To be successful with this course, you should be familiar with web concepts and the basics of HTML. If you are new to web design or development, consider watching the HTML course in this series first, Gentle Introduction to HTML for Beginners. As you watch this course, you'll see me demonstrate many of the CSS features. If you'd prefer to code along and style the web pages with me, you'll want a computer, not a phone or tablet. You'll need a code editor. I recommend VS Code for this course, as we installed it and used it in the HTML course. And you'll need a browser, such as Chrome, Edge, or Safari. But coding along is optional. Feel free to sit back and soak in the content. Now settle in, and let's get started. Don't forget to like and subscribe.